Hello and welcome to this screencast. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to rename the USB ports on the MyUTN80 dongle server. The reason we created this function is that the default names of USB dongles are often incomplete or hard to understand, and most of the time they don't even bear a relation to the software for which the dongle is made. This may confuse your users and generate help desk calls because they are unsure about which dongle to use. So let's look at how we can eliminate this problem by using the port renaming function. So just a quick reminder before we start. The port renaming function requires at least the following firmware and software combinations. Okay, so now let's take a closer look at the function. I've opened the UTN manager here and you can see in my device list there is a MyUTN80 dongle server with three dongles attached. You can also see that the device names of the dongles do not relate to the software which is licensed by it. This is what I'll change now. I'll rename the individual dongles with the help of port renaming and give them unambiguous names. Port renaming is configured on the web interface of the device server. To get there, I need only to click on the dongle server and then choose Configure. Here we click on Device and then on USB port. Now we're in the right area for port renaming. You can see there is a table with all eight USB ports of the dongle server listed. In the column headed Name, there's a description field for every port. This is where you enter the new names. I'll now fill in these fields with the new names of the dongles. With a click on Save, the new names will be adopted. And now when I switch back to the UTN Manager, you can now see that the nondescript names have disappeared and have been replaced by the names that we entered. These new names make it easy for users to activate the right dongle for the software that they want to use. And that's really all there is to using the port renaming function. For questions or comments, send us an email or give us a call, and I hope to see you at our next screencast.